Hello and welcome to Suzy Q Vegan Beauty and this is my webinar and I'm so excited to be here with you guys and um so first we're going to talk about some things what is lipstick now we all know lipstick make us look good make us feel good it's a cosmetic thing but let's just get into the actual definition of a lipstick lipsticks are designed to improve the appearance of the lips they typically involve color change but also increase shine and smooth out the appearance of wrinkles and folds of the lips they are a solid stick product housed in a molded packaging now that is the traditional lipstick we're going to get into not only the traditional lipstick bullet but also liquid matte lipstick and a liquid gloss lipstick what does lipstick do when lipsticks are applied a very waxy product film is left left behind on the lip surface the color components of the lipstick block the natural surface colors, changing it while the film components help keep the color attached to the lips. And, you know, this is... What are emollients? Emollients supply wax-like lubricating, thickening agent that prevents water loss and has a softening and soothing effect on the skin, which is great for lipstick. Um, these are ingredients, plant oils, mineral oils, cocoa butter, petroleum, fatty acids, um, lantern oil. There's a lot of things to experiment with. Also, emollients, slash emulsifiers like wax it's an emulsifier it stops oil and things that don't mix from separating so when you melt down the oil with the wax and your lipstick it's not going to separate because the wax is an emollient slash emulsifier and um don't get wrapped up in that, but just know what an emollient is. We'll get into emulsifiers in the advanced lipstick webinar. So esters, I told you I would talk to you more in depth about esters. Esters is used to lubricate the skin surface. It gives your skin a soft and smooth appearance but it decreases the thickness of the lipstick. Thereby, it lessens the drag. So when you go like that, you want your lipstick to drag with you smoothly. You don't want to keep having to reiterate your path on your lips. So this is what esters do. Um, and a good, 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 good ester is castor oil. I love castor oil. Oh, it just is just the perfect ingredient. It does so many things, but castor oil. So, you know, if you're doing a plain recipe and you might not want to do all the fancy stuff, you might just be making gifts or, you know, personal things for you or just having fun with your daughters or your kids making things. Um, you know, it would a great, plain, simple recipe. You could do a coconut oil. You can do a shea butter and a castor oil and um, a can of brewer or candelilla wax and make a really amazing fun lip balm but very simple but we'll get into that that was just some rhetoric okay so there you have what esters and emollients are and um you know they balance each other out because if you heard the properties of emollients 
they thicken a substance. And if you heard the definition or one of the properties of ester, they thinning it. So if you have the right amount of thinning agent and thickening agent, you can create the perfect mix. And that's what formulating is all about. Finding your perfect mix for what you are trying to bring to life.